with some uh, vending machine cake behind me that I've never had. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the penultimate mini series in the Vlogmas series about dividends. And today I'm going to start the uh, last series, which is about my 2022 stats. Each day is my stats from a different perspective. Today is the money. March 23rd, most money in one day, plus 1,177. It was at a mix of MGM and Valleys. MGM made 877, and at Valleys made a buying exactly, exactly 300. My worst day was uh, well documented. Minus 648 in uh, the Horseshoe Council Bluffs. It started out minus 900, which would have been my worst day ever. And then I went, I think to eat, I went back to the Airbnb, I went back to uh, the casino later and made back 252. So minus 900 plus 252 minus 648. So it wasn't a terrible, terrible day, but it was the worst day of the year. The week of April 16th was my best week of the year, plus $2,151. Uh, April was just really good. And you'll see in a minute how good April as a whole was. And my worst week of the year was when I came back from uh, Council Bluffs and that road trip. So I was back for two days, July 21st and 22nd. That ended one calendar week for me for this year. Uh, the following seven day stretch, uh, July 23rd through 29th, I lost 532. My first 10 days back were real bad. Uh, I just like lost almost every single hand I played. But after that losing week of July 23rd through 29th, I rattled off 18 winners out of the next 19 weeks. So it was pretty good after that. Best month was April, I told you. Third best month ever, plus 5,893. I've had one month in my life in the 6,000s, one month in the 7,000s. This was my third best. Uh, just everything went well in addition to playing well, game selecting well, casino hopping well. Um, of course, a couple breaks went my way, but also a lot of it is on me and made over $5,800. This one gets an asterisk, but July plus 320, my worst month of the year. Uh, December, I'm not counting because there were just so few hours. The 250 hours challenge was done. I was doing a lot for the channel and then I left in mid-December and now I'm back in New York. So not a ton of hours in December, still in the black, but I'm counting on July because July was over 100 hours at least. There was a decent sample and worst month of the year, July plus 320. Break it down by room now. Best room of the year, Bally's plus $8,325. Really like Bally's, played there a ton of hours, so it makes sense that I've made the most money there. And worst room of the year, not counting places I only played once, like Hollywood Kansas Speedway, um, Harris North Kansas City, Agua Caliente, uh, the places in California and Kansas City. Not that any of them were this bad, but even if they were, it wouldn't make sense for such a low sample to be included. Uh, Venetian. I played like uh, 120 hours or so at Venetian this year, minus 625 over there. Uh, definitely had some good days, but I guess most of them were just uh, like small to medium losers.